up here, click right there where it says Untitled. And that's where you would put the name of whatever your document is going to be called. So if you have a story name, then you would put the story name there. Put it here. Now it has, see right here, it says Saving, Saving. So it does all the saving for you. Now it says all save, save, uh, changes saved in your drive. So this is in Google Drive. So hover over this right here. Just hover. Okay, we want to leave that there. But we want to go okay, to here, right? Now these, this is where you could do all your putting your all your formatting is being done. So you want to put your title, your name, the date, blah, blah, blah. Then when you want to go back to the other side, we'll go back to right alignment. If you take your mouse and hover over every little thing, it'll tell you what that icon means. So that's what the, the hovering does. What does right alignment mean? It means, uh, right alignment means it starts over here on the right side. Left alignment means that your writing will start on that side on the left. So, uh, left, left alignment will be going this way? Yes. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be an around the house vlog. Um, it is Friday, March 27th and it is 6 o'clock. So I am just getting done with uh, work. I actually worked to about 5.30. I just was, I was working on a project and I did not have the time to stop. So I got that done. I just, well, I, not that I didn't have the time to stop. It just made sense to finish what I was doing and then Monday would be easier. Um, while I was working, the you know i always try to watch i don't watch a lot of news but i do try to watch what's happening in north carolina right now and the governor came on and so there were several counties in our state that have been put on a shelter in place for the next 30 days when he did his um updates he put the entire state of North Carolina on a shelter in place for the next 30 days, starting Monday, the 30th of March. From March 30th until April 30th, he put everybody on a lockdown. Not lockdown, that's wrong. Shelter in place, I'm sorry. Get my words right, because I don't want to be misunderstood. And so honestly, I did not think that was coming. That's just me uh, not thinking. You know, I thought we were doing okay. But he, I, I will say this, I had to go out today to pick up my check. Um, if you haven't seen my video yet where I was doing, well, you haven't seen, you might, you might see the budget video by the time uh, this video comes out. However, um, I had filled out my travel reimbursement for February and expect fully expected to get my check for that travel reimbursement for gas for driving to my different locations uh, when I have to do extra driving and that check never came through and it was submitted over a month ago. And so what they did was they went ahead and issued me a, an emergency payment. They just went ahead and did it. But I had to go pick it up from one of the closest schools to me. They sent it in the courier mail. And um, I had to go, oh, I had to meet, I met my assistant over there and she made sure I got my check. I did go to the bank and cash the check. And, um... So it all worked out, but now we, uh, and I was glad to have it, but now we have a shelter in place starting Monday. So I do, I did do a, a big grocery shop, way bigger than what I'm normally used to doing. Um, and I thought that was going to hold me for at least two to three weeks. So I'm hopeful. Um, we are going to do a definite let's go through and figure out what we have so that we'll know for shelter in, in place what we're looking at 
as far as actual true to form what can we what's the bare minimum we can do uh, as far as in the house with that being said because I don't get paid until Tuesday so um, I don't plan to go out of the house at all and again not from fear just to keep down you know do my part whatever my part is so I'm going to be here with the kids we're perfectly fine we did get a thing from from work saying because we were under and I'm just gonna chit chat through this while I'm working on I'm cooking dinner so I'm just gonna chit chat through this while I'm cooking dinner we were told we were on the remote from home you know some of those of us who could work from home we were allowed to work from home and or we were on optional work days where you could actually go into the building you still had to practice social distancing in the building but it was um you could still come in well we just got an email and a phone call saying the building was closed uh starting monday and that was following up on a previous email that was changing uh, the hours and whatever so they have sent out another email saying the building is closed um they're going to work on emergency leave for us and figure out how um we're still going to get paid again some people do have um annual leave time or sick time saved up but prayers are that they don't take our time because this is not you know something we would have ever thought to happen but it is happening and so what we have to do now is adjust so with that being said and things being in place like they are uh, the kids and I I do have to go fill a prescription for both kids so I'm going to try and call it in and I'll just go through the drive through I won't get out of the car or anything like that um, I actually do that tonight to make sure that it's ready it's some of their allergy meds and you know they both have really bad allergies Jackson's worse than a lot but um, I still want to make sure that they have he has his meds because he still has not yet had his um, allergy shots because they haven't gotten his serum in yet and they, they might have gotten it in however we have not been called in to have his shots and it could very much be because of everything that's going on now I don't know that for sure but um, I do know that he has not been called in for his allergy shots so with that being said, I want to make sure that we do have all of the medications that they need on hand. Um, I'll be going through my meds. I, I just got a new supply on my blood pressure meds. And that's, that's the only thing I take ex except the supplement. And I actually re-upped that last week. It's 120 days. Um, supply. Or it's 120 pills. So about a 60-day supply because I take a couple of them at a time. The kids also take them as well. So I'm just doing a little bit of garlic. Yes and amen. As Jay Morrell would say, yes and amen. I did chop up a whole zucchini, and it was a very big one that I got from Aldi. I just diced it. And so I'm putting that in. I'm trying to determine if I want to make the second one or if this first one will be quite enough. And it very well may be. I'm going to add also some uh, spinach that we got in the grocery haul. And again, as you're planning for a 30-day shelter in place, y'all, I think it's just so... Here's what's amazing about what's happening is in my 44 years of life, this has never happened. And in a lot of people's lives, I know this has never happened. Um, after the hurricane came through two years ago, we did um, experience the food shortages. And I did see the National Guard out uh, just around, trying to make sure that everything was well. But I have not... Um, experience anything like this in my life and it's just a different it's just like i said it's not anything bad it's just a different experience than what i am used to what any of us are used to so again the new normal so with that being said 
uh, the kids and I, we're just trying to do our part again to make sure that we stay as safe as possible. Yes, lovely. I don't think so. I think I'm okay. At least I feel like I'm okay right now. I'm going to put the top on that, though. And just try to clean a little bit. So I just have my zucchini and my garlic in the pan. And I'm going to let that cook. Try to clean up a little bit because I don't want to be cleaning after the fact. Um, I do have one zucchini and I cut the ends off so I may end up cooking this tomorrow. I think I'll cook it tomorrow. And I do have some Ziploc bags. I'll just put it in a Ziploc bag and cook it tomorrow maybe for lunch or something. Well, maybe we'll make zucchini fries. Um, butter. So the things you find when you dip into your fridge, right? I found this big thing of bacon grease that I didn't realize was in there because we haven't been eating bacon. We do have the Sola bread that I got on sale, but I won't get one free. So I'm going to make a garlic bread with this because I have some, um, this is like a Johnny's garlic spread. I got this from Costco. Good granny. I don't even know how long ago. And we haven't used it on a lot of things. So I thought, hey, I'll use it. I pulled it. It was in one of my baskets. But I thought, let me pull this out so I can see it so I can use it. So I'm going to use this. And um, I've got some spinach that I need to use as well. So I'm going to use this. Now here's some of that uh, Garrett Valley Farms sausage that I got when I got it. Oh, man, a couple weeks ago, a couple grocery hauls ago, I got this. And um, so I'm just going to use this, use what we have. Hey, maybe somebody could help me with the um, garlic bread. That might be good. The kids are in PE right now at 6 o'clock, but they're just getting around to doing their PE stuff. Perfect, perfectly fine. They've had school all day. They both did. Um, Rosetta Stone is doing three months free on their website. So both of the kids were able to do Spanish. I actually just signed up one account. And Alana does it first, and then Jackson goes back and do the, does the review for his turn. So it's the very same lesson. One is just uh, Alana starts it off first because Jackson was working on something different. So it worked out great for both of them. And then also we're working on portion control. We just want to make sure that we're eating our portion size and that we're not overindulging. Um, not because we're afraid not to have food because they are stocking things back up. They did have a ham yesterday and it was marked down. It was like $14, but I could not bring myself to spend $14 on that ham, y'all. But it was a pretty good size ham. So it's not because of fear it's honestly during this time to get really focused on some eating goals, uh, sticking to our portion sizes, uh, making sure that we're hitting our goals. And the kids are doing well, mom's doing well, uh, life is good. So I always think it's helpful to, now the kids do breakfast and lunch and I usually end up cooking dinner unless I'm working late and then they'll they'll help me out but I don't mind doing the cooking so I'm just again just a cooking vlog just a chit chat because we aren't doing anything around the house right now so I'm just gonna cut this sausage so in my pan I just have a uh, cut zucchini some garlic a little bit of oil haven't seasoned it Oh, that's the oven. Oven's ready for the bread. I forgot. I was like, what is that going on? Oven. 
Um, I haven't seasoned it yet with salt and black pepper, so I think I'll do that now. A little salt. And because I didn't do spirals or zoodles this time, I do want to get a good color on the zucchini. We ate that rotisserie chicken I got from the grocery haul the other day and we put the um, carcass into the crock pot for stock. Can I get a, get a new uh, kitchen towel, please? That one hit the floor. And somebody to help with the garlic bread. So I'm getting a nice color on the zucchini. Even though I'm going to put sauce on it, I still just want to get a nice color on it. Because I honestly don't like squash. But I can eat zucchini. We made zucchini fries yesterday with the um, hot dogs we have for lunch. And I would pre I prefer those totally over the jicama fries. But someone did message me and said, hey, did you boil them first? And I did not boil them first. I didn't know that you needed to boil the jicama. So I might give them one more try, but I'm a zucchini person. We like turnip fries, but the turnips were so small, I didn't wanna waste money on that hey y'all i need somebody to give me a new hand towel and somebody to start on the garlic bread you want to put me in a sandwich i'm going to quiz you in spanish oh you want to quiz me in spanish i'm like what i already told you because you're trying to come for my spanish no ma'am okay mom um, what does las mujeres come on Come me. Come and get me a new hand towel. Wrong. Means the woman, woman is awesome. Say it. The mom what about, is great. What about El Umbro? El Umbro? El Umbro? Wait, I'm not, I didn't. El Humbre. El Humbre? El Humbre. El Humbre. I'm trying to think of another word to you. Man. Le. Bless me, Father, in the name of Jesus. How about el, how about hombre blaze? El hombre blaze? What? Hombre. No, I don't know what to say. El hombre de mom. What does that mean? No, that's multiple. El hombre. What? El hombre. No, Let me just tell you. Hombre. I don't think Le. I'm a fan Le. of that mic. Means the man reading. Oh. Le. Reading. Le is not reading. No, no, it's not. Mom, what is it? It's, it's, it might be her own. Mom, that's a man. But Lay is not reading, y'all. Well, no. No, but that's not it. Well, then the thing is wrong. Could be wrong, or you could have understood it wrong. Mom, don't the mom, mom, no, mom. Like, le leche. Dos le leche. What does that mean? It is um, milk. The milk. No. Le, le, but I'm telling you. Why do people don't want to listen? What are we doing here? He said, get me um, El Nino, what does El Nino baby mean? The boy baby. Drinking. Drinking. No. Mom, that's what she said. Did Shamika say it? I don't know what Shamika's talking about. Yes, she did. That's what she said. How can we trust the lady? Mom, she even uh -huh. let us, we even had to say it. And it said, the no. as in correct. Oh, I need a, um, I need a bag for that one. It's my bag. Because I was only going to make one. I'll make that for lunch. Bye, or we'll do fries again or something. This is Shrek. What does Les Mujeres say? Les Mujeres what? Said it. I don't know. I didn't so realize the woman that. running. Well, now that might be said it. Mother running. Yes. Mother running. Yes. Well, what's the cooking like right now? Oh, I forgot that one. See, here you go. You're trying to tell me that you Mom, forgot everything. Mom, we forgot the cooking one. The other one? Mom, we were the done. cooking. We remembered everything. Literally everything else. Okay. Well, you didn't remember that one. Mom, what is girl? Nina. Ma'am. Nina. No, that was the only part of it. La Nina. I think Las Ninas means the. The. the like dos le leche. Dos le leche. It's like a caramel cake. 
It's gold, like D-U-L-C-E. Leche. Nah, what else? Do you know Nothing, evidently. <laughs> it's all these, Span all these Spanish experts, and they just took the class today, but they experts. Uh -huh. Trust me. Who is, excuse me, what does, who is working on the garlic bread in Espanol for Ferrari? Painful with these topics. Girl, bye. Get this garlic bread. Here, that one's trash, Bubba. This is the bread. Just put out a, a thing, a tray. And uh, here's the butter and the stuff right here. Go home. Hey, Mom, I've been learning. I've been learning what, babe? I've been learning with my sword. You can chop me. You can come chop me. You're going to try to chop me? No, Mom, I won't try, but I could. You could chop me. Good. With your sword, I, I will chop you Mom, with my you hand. Chopped. I will chop you. Which Mom, one should we use for the bread? If I chopped your hand off, you couldn't chop. Boy, bye. Go on. Parchment paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's trying to chop me. Who come behind me trying to chop me? Mom, I need my sword to chop you. Bye. I'm gonna chop your neck. Mm -hmm. Don't come behind me. I see you. You can put that. Hey, put that one back because I'm not gonna use that right now. I, but I see you. El Nino's. El Nino's. El Nino's. I just wanna do one. El Hombre. El Hombre. Oh, El Hombre. El Hombre. This is not. How do you make garlic bread? Is this not good? I don't think. I'm not gonna use that. There should be one in here. Mm -hmm. Put the butter on. You gotta melt the butter, huh? And then you put the in a bowl. In a bowl. I got cereal, some bananas. Cereal, some banana. Some banana. Some cereal, some bananas, banana. milk. What? In a bowl. In a bowl. Cereal, banana, milk, and a bowl. What? By the time y'all get done, I'll be done. Okay, mom. You wanna end this bowl, please? Oh, that can't go in the microwave. Oh, keep oh, yeah, and definitely not mom's coffee, coffee cups. Well, at least not after a long time. Because one of her coffee cups. How are we supposed to put a butter in? Oh, are we just laying the bread? Can and you put a little bit of um, butter on? heavy cream? Shake it and put it a little bit in. Is that the idea? Mm-hmm. Okay, then. Hey, mom, every time I go outside, you can say El Nino. Okay. okay. It means boy running. Can you do it quickly? Clearly, my children enjoy being in this kitchen with their mama. It's fun. How much? It's hot. Hot? Oh, probably because that air is on. No, the heat's on. But I did turn it down because it's 77 in this house. It looks heavy, though. It's hot. It's warm outside. It's well, then the, air, the heat shouldn't be on. Well, mama, you get heat was on. Yes. It was you, Mother Mama. No. Oh. Here, I think we'll save that for tomorrow. Just put the fridge. Much liquid no, it's too much in here. And then go ahead and put that back because I've used all I need out of there. Is this fine? Much? No, that's perfect right now. Okay, the butter is done. Just sit down. That's what it was. What's in there? Uh, the strawberries and blue. Three donuts. That can. Alana, did you do the whole bottle? We'll need the whole four, six pieces of bread. Well, then we'll save the rest for something tomorrow. All right, and so I'm finishing up. Hey, Mom, I figured out how to So do we just... Well, I figured out how to save sodas. There's a... Should be a brush. Me, what brush. level? I figured out how to make sodas. How to make what? Soda flour. How? You put it in a flat fuel, you put a lot of ice cubes in a plastic cup, and you put the soda in. And then in reality, I don't know about that, but you know it's a lot. Right. Give a bump. Go wash your face with a, um, a nice, wet, warm, wet rag, bud. Didn't you already 
grab a shower? Did you pull your things out? Your shower, your towel, and everything. I did. Oh, ridiculous! Not fine. at all. Why do I feel like this needs to be? You know what, Alon? Let's do a thing of uh, broccoli. Let's do some broccoli. And we'll add that in and then we'll have our everything we need because it feels like there's a lot of sauce and not a lot of um i should have probably did both of those zucchini but that'll be okay so anywho there it is you guys we just hanging out we'll see what else we can come up with to do we'll bring you guys along all right y'all so i want you to tell mom what exactly was your experience with schooling at home this week what did you enjoy? What did you not enjoy? And how did the week go for you? Well, you can go first. Okay. Um, let me see. What did I enjoy? I think I enjoyed my typing lessons and my art lessons. Let me see what else. Um, I did enjoy reading my story and writing my story though I did have quite a few mistakes. I did not enjoy the actual school part, but that's an everyday occurrence, except for Saturdays and Sundays. Um, I do like getting ahead though, and I'm almost finished with my science lesson. And this overall week has been very educational and I hope to start my sign language lessons next week, as well as finishing my Spanish ones. Um. It's, I feel like with um, with mom home now, it's much easier to do school because I'm more focused. Um, I don't, ex well, I, I don't exactly enjoy school, but, but that's, that's just me. That's how I feel about it. But with her here, it is easier to do it. And she like, we have like a set time where we do something and you do it for like an hour and then you take a break just so you know you don't get too overwhelmed about it and then you can come back later and finish whatever needs to be finished and I've been writing a story like Jackson has and that has actually um, made me feel calmer and it also can take up some time you know when you don't really have anything to do um most fun things this week um I'm pretty sure it's been the book that I've been writing. I'm almost on chapter four. I've been super excited about it. And um, I ordered some books about two weeks ago and they have finally come in. So I have been reading those. Um, probably my art lessons and maybe my book writing. Probably. Definitely the art lessons, but the book writing. It's hard to come up with ideas certain times after you've put one idea down on your paper. I like to have like the whole story in and not just pick parts, parts and pieces as I go along. So that it's def it's definitely a nice thing to have, but not my exact favorite. And anything you want to share with homeschoolers? With kids doing homeschool now as opposed to going to their schools, anything you want to share with the parents? Any thoughts for how homeschool should go? Um, how it could be easier, less stressful, anything like that? Um, well, definitely, which works for us, is always have a set time. Have a set time for when you're going to start, preferably early in the morning, 9, 10 o'clock. And then, you know, work an hour or two and then break for lunch, you know. Do about an hour for lunch. You know, just let yourself calm. Um, get a good meal. And then go back at it again. Um, maybe for another hour or two. And if you end up finishing by then, then that's great. But if not, take another break. Um, get a snack. Take a nap. You know, always 
be organized because if you're organized it'll help you you know move along things will be um more easier and um you know be next to your parent if you have to um i'm sure they can help you with whatever it is they've been through some of these things so um they can help you out and you know, maybe even in between your breaks, have a little fun, you know? That way it doesn't seem like, oh, school boring, you know? Just, you know, have a little fun things in between. Just keep your spirits up. Um, I would say you should do the 2020, uh, 20 minutes of schoolwork. If you're using your, com if you're using your computer, do 20 minutes of schoolwork, then like look away or watch something else for 20 seconds. Cause I do sometimes get headaches and it sometimes helps to not look at my screen for a little while. I would also uh, suggest, like if something is hard, you should ask your parent, like the one that's holding the camera, because they do know, especially if your parent is a teacher, it would be very easy instead of just reading your papers or what's on the screen, because I do like hands-on learning, like listening to someone tell me instead of just scrolling down and reading at the same time um let me think also um it might help to keep notes sometimes like you usually do at school and sometimes it might not because i don't keep a lot of notes but either way whatever works for you try to make yourself as comfortable as possible because homeschool really isn't that hard if you're in a comfortable position but you stay awake because sometimes you do fall asleep. Any last things you want to say to the cause, for the cause? Any last words of wisdom? Um, stay calm. Um, always be on the lookout for toilet paper. Um, you know, this is the time to be with your family. And, you know, to... You know, I feel like this is the time to get closer than you probably will get. And, you know, just sort of relax. This is sort of some kind of, it's like a vacation, but not a very fun vacation. So, you know, it's time for you to relax, you know, because once this is over, you're getting back to all the busy stuff of a normal day. And, um, you know... You know, this is a great time to start working on new projects or something you could do, but something you could do at home. And then when this is over, you might be able to take it out there and administer it somewhere else. But you know, you got to get creative at a time like this now. I, I feel like I have a great imagination. It helped me come up with my story. And you know, it doesn't take a lot. You just think of something. Um, you can get inspired by a book or something and you know make up a game you know just you know find something i mean you don't have to sit around be bored all day you know go outside i mean the weather is great if you got a dog go outside play with the dog you know get some good exercise you know you, you don't have to be bored and just don't think too hard on what's going on right now because it will pass so just think about your family, think about being together, and that's all you need. Mm, well, yeah, you should just enjoy yourself while you have the time. Homeschool is actually just doing, just learning at home with, if you like have your family, like with mom here, it's a lot easier to do homeschool and I get more help. Um, if you need like extra help that your parents can't give you, ask your teachers, it would be great. And this would be a good time to try like some outdoor activities, like maybe skateboarding or basketball or a little bit of soccer, stuff you haven't tried yet. Um, also, I would think that you could do like, very, like on say fun projects, like I'm saving up toilet paper rolls to build some kind of ro cardboard robot, which I haven't tried ever. But, and I hope it works out. So, yeah, pretty much that's about it. And also, just pray for some people during the coronavirus. This is a time of 
prayer, but also be helpful because this we hope this will end soon and then you'll get back to school. And I've never been to public school, but most people say they don't like it. But I guess it'd probably be more of a relief for a few people to get back there than just staying at home. So staying at home is fun. And again, if you have a dog, don't let him eat your homework or her. And just just enjoy yourself. Enjoy the parent enjoy your parents being home. And if just certain things pop up, just be ready to face them. And trust in the Lord and that's all I got. Alrighty, you guys. Say bye, everybody. Bye. What's that for? Oh, pulling out leaves? It's just to get underneath all the hose. So, uh, pull the weed bed out. Oh, yeah, that's what you need to try to get down to the root of it. I remember using that hose. Time ago, like a really long time ago. We were at uh, Mimo's house one time and we had a pool. We're making a pool for some reason. It was a long time. Making a what? A pool. I remember that. What Jada, Braxton, and Anthony, right? Yeah. 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 Get those things out, the stepping stones.
which is why I took the shovel to mark it out. Right here, some here, I just pull those out. And what you want to do is you shake the dirt off so we at least leave in the dirt and we'll pull in the weed. Uh -huh. You don't have to buy so much dirt to fill it back. See what I'm saying? Back to my announcement. And where I did the order out. I'm listening. It's for all of us to do if we want to. But considering what it is, I'm not, I'm not sure you want to do it. Okay. They have to promise one thing. What? You can't take the fun out of this. Who takes the fun out? Liza and Patty, you do take the fun out of I'm sorry. Mrs. Madam, no fun. Here, Jack, pull that weed right here. So, I suggested to Jackson that since we are home, this is time for family projects. Any project really for me, because I'm still thinking about a couple. Right. A couple that are to lead to my future, but I haven't thought of them yet. So anyways, I was thinking, well, this is a lot of time to be thinking about ourselves and how we're, you know, how we are presenting ourselves in the world and to others. Mm -hmm. And if we Watch want to be more like him, if we want to be more like him, this is, um, I mean, any time is great, but since this is the time for us to work on ourselves and we can be focused, why shouldn't we, um, there's pick some more of those out. Why shouldn't we try our, not try, why shouldn't we do all the fruits of the spirit. Now, we all, we are not perfect. Huh, I'm not, I'm not done yet. Now, we all suffer at one, at least one or two of fruits of the spirit, multiple ones. Sufferings or struggle? Struggle, that's the word. I'm struggle. suffering the fruits Manny, of the spirit. Come on, you're Mama, right. move. Bye. Felicia. How? I'm trying to figure this out. No, I'm not done yet. I didn't get to your part yet. Oh. About this part. Okay. So I'm thinking for two weeks. Only if, two weeks. Oh my, for two weeks you focus on one. You read about it, pray about it, and then. Yes. How about up here? This is where you need a journal. Or There's like nine Christmas spirits, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. This is where you need like a journal or something so you can like 
catalog. I know, but then you keep it, but that's not, but that's, but that's the catch. The catch is, when two weeks are over and you start with a new one, you still have to do the other one. So let's do a week. But mom, two weeks may help you more concentrate better. And anyways, mom, we might be, okay, we're not going to be stuck on here for a We will be here for about half the time. Yeah, we want to make sure we get some, make sure we get some of that dirt out. So keep breaking it back until... Might be the other way. Yeah, so, and maybe we don't all have to work on the same one at once. Just work on work on them by um difficulty with working on. Know what I'm saying, Mom? The ones you struggle with the most? Yes. But in your own personal right. thing, you know. So I'm going to start today, March 28th. Okay. And I'm starting with Self-control. Now, Mom, here's where you take the fun out of it. Um, some things. You start Mom takes the fun out of all the things. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, well, I say I'm going to do something. I'm all excited because, well, I know I'm going to try my hardest. But then you start getting up. I'm serious. <laughs> what serious stop? Okay, so this is what we're supposed to do, remember? You're supposed to do this and this and use that cup. Maybe don't eat that. <laughs> I do it just like that, right? It's sort of something like that, Mom. Just remember, Mom. The best way for me, I feel like, to be able to do things is if it's not so serious. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't serious. If anybody knows me, well, I am are, serious uh -huh. at times. But what am I on most of the time, Jackson? Uh, Happy, bubbly, no full of imagination. No, ma'am. I am. You're full of imagination, but you are not happy all the time. That's what that is. I not am. since you became a teenager. No, ma'am. You can just take that life somewhere else. Mom, that is. There's Jackson. one right there, Jackson. Come on now. Yeah. Wouldn't all my. Wouldn't everybody I know who sees me say that? Yeah, they don't live here. Mom. Back. Yeah, I'm right. You're not being a player anywhere else. That's not true. And then these right here, John. What has been happening the last couple of days? We've been living with you for the last couple of days. We've been living for the last couple of days. Oh, Mom, well, there are right reasons, here, though. Where am I? There's always a reason. I get what you're saying. But you're trying to make it seem like you just happy go lucky, bubbly, perk. That what you just moved out of the way, John. Oh, that's just dead bridge. Give it a good yank. Use two hands if you have to, too. Follow where it goes and it'll, you'll be able to pull it on out. Oy. tell who was raised on a farm and who wasn't. Ma, I was raised not on the farm. The suburbs. The suburbs. She was raised on the suburbs. Well, I don't know where I was. I don't know what they call it. The suburbs. Are we sure those where we were? Absolutely. Okay. That's in all of those. All of those. Yeah, better. Look here. 
Because we want to preserve as much of the dirt as we can. Of course, Mama. In the book, they're tending a garden. Y'all are not telling me. Um, what, Mom? Which one I'm supposed to work on? Well, Jackson kind of took one when I was thinking. Well, I think we can work on the same thing. Okay. Okay, I work on patience. Um, one question. What does a goodness mean? Yeah, what is a goodness? Goodness? Well, let's look it up in a different translation because it may say something different. in your house and not be arguing and carrying on. Yeah, we do that, Jackson. Yeah, sure. We should call, we should do a video chat today, later. Oh, what are the big kids going to work on? Uh, definitely Shamika should maybe work on a little bit of patience. She needs to she work on might, everything. She might want to work on a little bit of this peace, too. Well. It could be someone with woods here. Pull it out and see what happens. I might have to chop it off. Oh, is that probably the long one? How far is it going? If it's connected to that, then it's going very far. Oh. What's that mean? Look over here. I'm missing. I'm not able to get around because I don't want to chop that. No. Ha! Go. Plant off or whatever. It's a shrub. Shrub. But there is quite a lot of them. Roots around it. Come try this one, Jack. Okay. This one here. See if I can get some more of that out. By this room, by that shrub. Alrighty, you guys, the kids and I are back in the house from doing all of the um front yard work. And Film the video that I have to edit and upload. Now I'm trying to see. If this will, um, let me do what I want. Um, on the kids' computer, oh, yeah, that's what I need. On the kids' computers that um, we bought for homeschool, we bought the Microsoft package, but it has expired or something. It, no, it didn't. We bought them in July, right, for this school year. Well, the kids don't use their computers for anything else except homeschool. So when we tried to go in and use Microsoft because they wanted to do their writing of their books for homeschool, it wants us to register it. I can't find my sheet. I can't find my little, with my code to put it in because we never use it. And I didn't think it didn't dawn on me then to go ahead and set it up because they only needed the computers for homeschool and that's a whole separate curriculum that we upload onto the computer i just needed the shell of the computer to house their homeschool however now they want to do their writing they do have notepad but notepad doesn't have all the features that microsoft does so we're trying to find my um, access key so i can log them into microsoft and if we don't find it through my work they'll let you do uh, microsoft home office for like 14 dollars, so it's not a problem I can get it, but I know I have those access keys somewhere. I didn't throw it away. I know I didn't throw it away because it's a computer and I wanted to make sure that I kept that paperwork. I just have to find it. Um, so because it's not working right now for Alana, Alana's was working for a few days, but Jackson's was not. So I just put them into um, Google Docs and let them work in Google Docs. But right, she was right in the middle of her story and something happened like the computer it stopped working so I um, am going to get her connect 
get her connected to um, Google Docs so that she so that she now has access to her documents, whether she has Microsoft or not. So that's just the better thing, the better choice right now. Okay, and now I'm just having to download the extension for Chrome. Yes, lovely. Um, I'll find it. It's somewhere. I put it somewhere. I just need to go through my stuff and look look for it. With no problem. No worries. Mom will find it. So that thing just said downloading is going to take three hours and it went to 13 minutes. I'm like, three hours? What in the devil? But the problem is with everybody now having access to the internet, even people who didn't pay for it before uh, because of the, the kids in school. And so in our area, they're giving access to pretty much everybody. It's making our internet very slow. And we already had some issues with our internet before, but now it's... Um, not our fave. It's okay. It'll work out. Can't find any boxes. I'll find it. I got the, I, it's plastic, pla two little plastic bags. I, I know I have it in there somewhere. But this is taking some time. So let me see if I can find. I'm trying to upload your file here. File upload. You know what? You really understand a lot when you just go back and you just read it. That's what I was doing because when I turned it on, it uh, it did that. So. Did you yeah. save it? Where did you save this, Alana? Mail. Books. No, it's not. Then by the other one, thing in the house. Although it should have been saying thing in the house. Well, maybe it, you didn't change that. Maybe I must have heard it. Which I think I'm still thinking about the title. I think I'll just name it Little Boom. Okay. So we're doing that. It is um, 11.55. I still haven't had breakfast. I am having a cup of coffee. I was having a cup of coffee. I lost my coffee, but... That's right. As soon as we get this Chrome extension done... Okay, the Chrome extension is done. Why is that not uploading for me? Okay, let me see. She's been working on her book for a long time, and I hate for her to lose all the work she did. 28 pages. 28 pages. And 7,000 something words. 7,000 words? Wait, no. Oh, yeah. 8,000. Over 8,000. 8, yes, over 8,000. I haven't gotten to, um... What are you doing with the room? I'm trying to copy it so I can dump it into Google Docs because it's not wanting me to upload it. Hey guys, this is just a part of the blog that we are doing. So, on uh, Saturday, we did a bit of yard work. As you can see, there's just no weeds anymore. It doesn't look as green or as mulchy as it was. So, there, we did all 
the weeds gone. They are just blown up. Mom just sprayed them. After we pulled them up, we put, uh, gathered all the weeds, which were very heavy, by the way, and put them in the back where there are more weeds that naturally grow. So mom dug like a circle so that we wouldn't cut in the grass or a border as she calls it and she'll just fill it in with more mulch or dirt. But that's what we did on Saturday and we'll see. Dinner's done. Well, this is a soup. We don't, I don't necessarily know that we're gonna eat this for dinner. We did make, um, I had a rotisserie chicken that I got from Costco. And so what I ended up doing was I put the legs, the thighs and the wings in the oven to reheat. I pulled the breasts off and made that um, cauliflower, chicken ranch cauliflower soup that I normally make. The only thing is, instead of rice in the cauliflower this time, we just um, put it in whole. And I'm just taking the potato masher and mashing it so that we don't have big chunks of cauliflower. So it's just two chicken breasts and the two tenderloins underneath. I also put in some of the seasoned butter, this metal butter. I had a coupon for this, that's why I'm using that. My cream cheese was frozen. So I just have a little bit of heavy cream. I don't have any cheese. Um, so it's just a uh, um, creamy chicken and ranch soup. I added in a couple of carrots that I got from my friend when she did a porch drop off. She got one of those um, misfit produce boxes or something like that. Um, so she said, hey, do you want some stuff? And I said, sure. So she dropped it on the porch. And then I just went out and picked it up after she left. So um, this is the soup that we have. And then I'm going to pull out the uh, chicken from the oven. We made like a little bit of a barbecue sauce. And that's pretty much what we're going to have for dinner. And this is the chicken. So I pulled off the legs and the thighs and the two wings. And I made like a barbecue sauce. This is just some of the Jehu's, um Sugar-free honey mustard, some of the sugar-free apricot preserves, and a little bit of the Lakinto monk fruit. I think that's all that's in here. And I just melted it down in a pan and then basted it over the chicken. I put it in the oven for about 15 minutes to let it reheat. Um, we did have some chicken skin on here, and that's yummy and delish. So... This is going to be dinner. So we do want to thank you guys so much for joining us over these couple of days that we have been doing this vlog. Um, if we don't end it here, we'll keep going and going and going. And the vlog's already getting long. Thank you guys so much for the, those of you who say you like the longer vlogs. I could just keep going and going, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to make longer vlogs if people don't really appreciate them or enjoy them. But if you're enjoying them, thank you guys so much. We do appreciate that. If you have any questions about anything we talked about or, you know, let us know. If you need prayer, let us know. We're always here to help. We're always here to, you know, just be of assistance to you. Whatever you need, just let us know. We do pray that your household is faring well during this time of self-quarantine uh, and staying in. And, you know, as things continue to move along in our economy and our world and uncertainty and things, we do pray that the Spirit of the Lord will come upon you and that you would receive his rest and his peace in Jesus name. So again, thank you so much. If you like the video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye now.